Most people who drive a car have only a basic understanding of their vehicle. Some car owners will get under the bonnet to tune a vehicle. Very few would have the knowledge to maintain or improve a high performance vehicle like a racing car. Likewise, many people who use computers only know how to use the software on their PC and others know enough to make their machine work faster and better. Some who work in software design and computer programming are like the people who work on an F1 car. They are the people who dream up and create the next big computer game, the one that everyone wants. And just as someone without an understanding of mechanics would have no chance of creating a high performance car, it's also very unlikely that someone without an understanding of the fundamentals of computing could create the next amazing game. Here at Sony Computer Entertainment's London studio, we'll find out why. So the opportunities are there and the challenge continues for the next innovation. Final year students at the University of Leeds use their understandings of fundamentals to work on projects that may just give them that important in to the competitive world of computer games. This piece of coursework includes using 28 high resolution screens to make up one display screen. The roller coaster ride is a real experience. The undergraduate who created this should go a long way and that's because he put the effort into grasping the fundamentals. And what does a long way mean? Fred Gill works for Swordfish, which is one of four Sierra Entertainment internal studios. Sierra Entertainment is a division of Vivendi Games. Games like World in Conflict use breathtaking graphics to push the boundaries of what's been experienced before. There's absolutely no way I'd have got so far in the games industry without good mathematics behind me. Everything we do in games uh, involves mathematics from 2D manipulations through to 3D operations. In World in Conflict, we use a broad spectrum of mathematics from vectors for storing positions, matrices for manipulation and movement, splines to make sure that the movement is smooth and looks natural, and quaternions for optimised storage. Without maths, you'll struggle in the games industry. In fact, I'd say it'd be very hard to get into the games industry. And, and something else to remember is that it's a lot harder to learn these things later in life. Um, so I'd advise doing it earlier rather than later.